subs. What's up everybody, it's your boy Daniel back at it with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little different than my others. I'm gonna be stretching my ears and just kinda give you some tips and tricks and just helpful advice whenever it comes to stretching your ears. I've been stretching my ears for about eight years. Um, kind of a long time, but that doesn't make me a professional by any means. So anything I say in this video really is just like things that I've done that have worked out for me isn't necessarily the way you should do it but it works for me so if you want to give it a try then you know go ahead and give it a try my current size is seven eighths of an inch um i've been at this size since december of 2018. i haven't really stretched them because i just haven't given much thought to it you know i just been kind of buying plugs just kind of building up a collection because i thought i wouldn't stretch up again but I had a mental breakdown and i'm like you know what it's time to stretch your ears so it was either stretch my ears or get another tattoo and my bank account says no to a tattoo so that's that so these are the ones that i will be going up to these are one inch plugs i got these from spencer's i think for like 12 bucks so the method i'm going to be using is the taping method um mainly because out of all the different methods that there are this is like the most easy is the least painful um you just have to be patient with it so stretching up to seven eighths i kind of messed up my ear like badly um i blew out both of my ears and this was not a good experience basically blowing out your ear is whenever you stretch it too fast and the skin from the inside of the earlobe like gets pulled out it's it's not good I'll insert a picture to show you for a split second if you just want to see what it's like, but it's... Oof. The reason I blew my ears out was because I stretched with silicone. Um, you should never stretch with silicone. <laughs> I had been stretching with silicone since I was at a zero gauge, and I just, it's always worked for me, but like... The reason you're not supposed to stretch your ears with silicone is first off you can have an allergic reaction to the silicone and your ears can actually bond to the earring and you do not want that. Another reason is that it stretches way too fast and too abruptly so all you do is you just get the silicone plug and you fold it and you just put it in your ear and let it pop out. So all you're doing is just popping your ear and you know, you're just stretching it too fast. Even if you use something to lube it up or anything like that, you're still gonna mess up your ear. So after about three weeks of it healing, I was like, you know, let me just try out this method. I've known about the taping method, but I just haven't really given it much thought because the silicone was working out for me. Pretty much what you do with the taping method is you get Teflon tape, which is just like plumber's tape. I found this at Walmart for 97 cents. You get two of them. Um, and what you do is you get your earring and you get a strip of the Teflon tape and you just wrap around it. I'll show you here in a minute whenever I go to do it. But um, you just add a layer or two, or in my case, maybe a little bit more layers because I've got a lot of space in my ear and my plug. And then you just, you know, you just add more layers and layers gradually. And like within like a week or two, you know, you're at your next size and it's painless and it slides right in because your ears will naturally stretch out if you put something bigger in it. Or at least I think so. Don't quote me on this. It's, I don't know. Also, if you wear heavy earrings, it stretches your ears out. So that's why I'm wearing these heavy tiger stone plugs and I'm going to wrap them around it so it weighs down and then also the taping method will stretch it out at the same time. You need to know your ears. I've been stretching my ears for eight years like I said so I kind of have a good idea on what works with my ears and what doesn't work with my ears. I just recently started using jojoba oil. I'm thinking that's how you pronounce it but this stuff works wonders. Um, it has a lot of natural oils and other things such as vitamin E and it just helps your ear. You start massaging your ears daily with this stuff and your ears are gonna be. I took a shower just to kind of like loosen up my ears with the hot water and get them cleaned. And then uh, afterwards I massaged them with the jojoba oil. Then you're gonna get your Teflon tape. Um, I found that it's easier if you go ahead and get a strip measured off, so that way you can just go ahead and wrap it around your earring, and it just works fine for me, so. So you just get it, and you just start wrapping around. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. 
Um, so I usually just kind of like wing it. Like if there's still like not enough layers around it, I will like just take it out and put more, but I usually put around three to four, maybe even five. But I mean, my ears are pretty stretchy. So then after you have it wrapped up, you just get it and you just put it in your ear. All right, so I got the first one in and I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one off camera just to make it easier. All right, so I've got them both in. Um, I will check in with you in a few days uh, and uh, show you the progress and wrap some more tape around it. I spilled oil on my boyfriend's hoodie. Whatever am I going to do? What am I gonna do? Wash it. We're gonna wash it. So I just woke up and uh, this weather in Arkansas is really crazy and it's making my throat hurt because it's getting cold and then warm because that's fall. So it's been a few days since I taped my ear. I don't know if you can see the space or not. There's a little space in there. So I'm just gonna go take a shower. Probably put another layer of tape around it. Probably not going to show you that because I showed you that the other day. So. So it's been five days since I've been taping my ears and so far I haven't had any problems out of it. I've been able to put more than like two or three layers of tape on at a time. Something I've realized with the jojoba oil is it's not as slippery as I thought it was going to be. So I've just been massaging my ears with it but whenever I go to put my plug in I have this lotion from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's like really slippery and I've just been using that and it's been working perfectly for me. Um, I'm like really sad this morning, so that's why I'm getting breakfast. I usually don't eat breakfast, mainly because I can't afford it, but also like it makes my stomach hurt. You would not believe how many people are out at 7.53 in the morning. Wow, they're not open. Well, since Togo Bell is closed, I'm just gonna go to Sonic. Good morning, Sonic. This is Jen. May I help you? May I see Seth in a large diet or cover with diet cherry? Did you wanna add anything else? No, that's it. 515. All right, thank you. I have a lot of space between my plug and my ear, which is a good thing because that means that it's working. Um, I think that I only have about like two or three more days with it, but the whole oil has been working really, really well for me. It's keeping my ears healthy, especially in this cold weather. Usually my ears are like extremely dry whenever it's cold outside, but the whole oil is keeping it moisturized. It also helps with the stench. Like if you have stretched ears, you know that they smell so bad. They just smell like rotted meat or something. Like, I don't know why they smell so bad. The whole oil has been helping out with that. Thank God. Um, the only thing I have to say really that sucks about taping your ears um, is if you don't have white earrings, it looks really tacky. I just don't care like how I look. Like right now I look trash. Like I go out in public looking like absolute trash. They're taking a long time to give me my food, so I'm just gonna listen to some music. You sleep when you lie to me all the time. Tell me how do you? <laughs> Did you go down on his birthday? Mm. My baby, never no tears for that sucker. Well, I can't wait to be your number one. Gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. You're gonna wanna be my best friend. Toaster with the large light cover and with diet cherry mess. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good morning. You too. Oh. Oh, the flavor. I'll be sure to update you whenever I put another layer of taper on my plug and yeah. Alright, so it's been about a week and a half, almost two weeks, and I made it up to an inch. I did put another layer of tape on each of my ears, but I didn't get a chance to record it because I kind of just did it like in a rush and a hurry and I was just lazy and yeah. So my ears are like perfectly fine. 
This one is a little swollen still because I think that I could probably use another layer or two of tape around it, but I'm impatient and I put it in anyway, so I figured in a few days the swelling's gonna go down, so I'm not too worried about it. One thing that I realized about the cold weather outside with it being fall, almost winter, I mean it's pretty cold already as it is, is that the cold weather dried like my ears out. Just like my face, like the cold weather just, it dries it out so bad. So one thing that I would definitely recommend is putting the jojoba oil on it like every day and make sure you just kind of gently massage it because if it wasn't for that my ears would have like probably taken longer and probably wouldn't have been healthy like they are now. On a scale from 1 to 10 I always say that this method of stretching is probably a 7.5 out of 10. It's very time consuming. If you're patient like that's totally cool but I'm so impatient and I caught myself thinking that I was finally up to the next size and trying to push the new earring in and it was not go. But other than that, there was no pain. It was pretty easy, pretty simple, and pretty cheap. I mean, the only materials you have to buy are your next size plugs and the hobo oil and the tape. And to be totally honest, you don't even need the hobo oil. You can get away with just using body lotion or something. It's just that the hobo oil is like specifically made for your skin. And since it has all that like essential oils and all that other natural crap in it, it's just, it's better for your ears and better for your skin and all around you'll have healthier earlobes. This is my goal size and I do not intend on getting any bigger sizes whatsoever. Ever since I started my stretching journey, this is exactly the size that I wanted to be and I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, I know this video was a little different than my others, um, but my channel isn't really going to be one with like a specific certain type of video. I intend on doing many more photo shoots, probably going to do more stuff like this pertaining to like tattoos and piercings and things like that. I just want to let you guys know that I do intend on making a lot more videos and being more consistent with it, so just stay tuned for more videos. I'll be sure I leave my social media handles in the description below, be sure to give me a follow. Just another way to keep up with me, especially if I'm not too active on this channel like I should be. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, it would definitely help out a lot. And be sure to hit subscribe so that way you don't miss whenever I do post another video. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm dead. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.